Hey, this is Garrick. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about why I chose the juice box charger over the Tesla wall connector. Come on, follow me. Gladio Electric. They came to my house yesterday to install my juice box. Uh, they're actually based out of here in northern New Jersey and they specialize in installing all different types of chargers and so forth. Definitely, definitely highly recommend and you checking them out. I want to take the moment uh, discussing why I went with a hardwire system versus a uh, plug-in system. Uh, the main reason why I went hardwire was because I'm be charging my car outside of the house, uh, reading on the forums, uh, doing a little research online. Uh, they highly suggested that I hardwire the unit uh, versus uh, getting a NEMA plug. Uh, as you can see, the work that Gladiator Electric has done, they've done a really, really great job. Very, very clean. Uh, they, they were very professional, very courteous uh, when they came in yesterday morning. Uh, it took them literally roughly about three and a half hours to get it all done. Um, as you can see here, you can see the conduit running on top of the uh, of my ceiling in my garage, and you can definitely take a look. Take a, you can definitely see that the work they've done was really really clean, and I, I apologize for the mess in my garage, but as you can see here, the final installation going to the outside of my outside of my house was spot on. They sealed everything, making sure nothing leaks. You can definitely see how level and the quality of work that uh, Gladiator Electric has done. Uh, they really do take pride in their work. Uh, they even said that uh, if the owner saw that it was lopsided, uh, they would make the, te uh, the technicians come back and uh, level everything and fix everything. Uh, so they de definitely do take pride in their work. I highly suggest uh, if you live in northern New Jersey, uh, definitely give them, a, give them a call, reach out, and, uh, and then uh, obviously uh, go on from there. One of the main reasons why I went with the juice box over the Tesla wall connector is cost. Yes, the wall connector uh, is cheaper at Tesla, but uh, with the juice box, my local utility company is paying for my installation and for my permit. And on top of that, the state of New Jersey is giving me back $250 for buying a juice box, and the federal government is giving me back 30%. So I couldn't say no with this uh, particular deal. And another reason is because you know EVs are becoming more uh, popular these days. You know, my wife's car probably is going to be next car is probably going to be an EV. I'm not sure if we're going to you know get another Tesla. Could it be a BMW? Could it be a Hyundai? Who knows at this point? But in the next few years, at least I know that this charger is going to be able to charge both cars and make life a lot easier to try to jumble getting two different type of chargers. When you pick up your Tesla, uh, the Tesla is going to come with this J1772 adapter. This adapter is going to be needed if you're going to charge your Tesla with a non-Tesla charger. So since I have a juice box, obviously it's a non-Tesla charger, in order for me to charge my car, I'm going to need this adapter. So I'm going to take the charger, take the adapter, plug it in, and actually put it directly into my car. And as you can see here, the car is reading the adapter and now it's charging the car. As we're sitting here in my Tesla, as you can see, my car is being charged uh, as we speak. Uh, right now it's being charged at 10 kilowatts, 40 amps. And currently right now, what we're doing is um, it's charging the car up to 80%. In most cases like this, I, I will charge my car overnight. And then first thing in the morning, uh, when I get out of the house, uh, the car should be uh, charged at 80%. One of the biggest suggestions I do recommend for everybody uh, who live in states that give discounts on charging the car after hours or non-peak times is to schedule your charging. So when you come home from work, you come home from shopping or wherever the case may be, you can actually schedule your, your, your charge time. So I charge at 11, 15 p.m. So that's set there. What I can do then is switch to schedule charging and turn that on. And as you can see here, my car has stopped charging. So 11, 15 p.m. tonight, my car will automatically start charging. I don't have to run out in the middle of the night and to charge my car. If you have any questions about the juice box, please let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos.